case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The 2007 lawsuit of Tybalt v. Brackett revolved around a dispute of contributions made to a shared home, resulting in a drama-filled court battle that ascended to the main Supreme Judicial Court. The saga began when Stephen A. Brackett and Sherry Thibault, who once happily cohabitated, found themselves amidst a bitter separation. Amid the fallout, Thibault filed a two-pronged complaint against Brackett in the Superior Court, alleging both breach of contract and unjust enrichment. Brackett wasn't without his grievances, issuing a counterclaim demanding rent and loan repayment. In the initial trial, the court sided with Thibault on the unjust enrichment claim, leading to a landmark damages award of $40,617, a sum tied to the funds Thibault had poured into improving their old love nest. The court rejected a claim by Brackett that their prior small claims judgment on items of personal property served as a barrier to this action, a doctrine known as res judicata. Challenging the judgment, Brackett lodged an appeal, largely centered on the belief that Thibault's refusal to adhere to a pre-trial scheduling order merited sanctions and the scrapping of her claims. He also contested the accusation of being unjustly enriched, challenging the fairness of the initial judgment. In the climatic higher court ruling, the decision favored Thibault yet again on the unjust enrichment claim and shunned the plea for sanctions for her pre-trial scheduling order flout. They disagreed with the lower court's application of res judicata, arguing that the issues at hand in the unjust enrichment claim were independent from their small claims tussle. However, there was a twist. The court vacated the staggering damages award, instead remanding it for recalculation. Their reasoning? The court deemed it unsupported by the necessary records, concluding that Thibault was entitled to recover her monetary contributions to the property, but not any increases in value due to market inflations. This saga underscores the complexities of law, proving that while the higher court held firm on the original decision of unjust enrichment, it took issue with the awarded damages amount. Brackett's victory was a hollow one. The central condemnation of unjust enrichment still stood, bringing an end to their shared acrimonious chapter. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.